come firing out. Everybody roll initiative. Thirty-five. 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 Okay. It's taking every ounce of willpower I have not to just start yelling out numbers again. <laughs> just so you know, Brian. Just, just mute your mic and scream them out the door. I mean, he would hear me still. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All, right. Uh, all right, Bob. Uh, it took me a little bit to get it back. Uh, that's an eight. John. 19. Yay. Uh, Jagger. 18. Oh. Also, you should set mirror your image in Zoom. Or unmirror your image in Zoom. Oh, wait. You're good. You got it. Oh, never mind. He's just putting them in a different order. Cool. And he's putting them left to right, his perspective. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a minute. But like, if he if, when we get this thing, when we get the second camera, if he mirrors it, we get it left to right, but then we can't read anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kill easy. Wow. Right in the middle. Uh, okay. So the wolves technically go first, but they're wolves, <laughs> and you haven't. I, <laughs> like this is not tenable long term i would have them act on his initiative uh would be my my role what? but i would have them act on his initiative if they're con it becomes a question of are they controlled by him or are they like at his back and call no. or are they individual independent central creatures i don't know i don't really have a plan um to make it easy, have them act on his initiative. Then. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. They'll just for now act after your initiative. Um, but I don't. Well, I don't know what to do with that. Long term. Um. So Don, you're up first then. Um. Okay, we're gonna say that because I was not, I was not um, driving a wagon previously. I would not be driving the wagon now. That's fine. But I am gonna call out. Um, everybody drive away from the tree. You know, hard right or left, whichever goes. Sure. Uh, anything else? Um, yeah, I'm gonna hunker down a little bit. Try and, I, I got no longer a capability, so. Uh, Jider. Yeah, uh, what do I see? Roll arrows. Sorry, what? Roll perception. Yay. I see nothing. <laughs> I rolled a three. All right. You see trees. Cool. They appear to be roughly tree shaped. Cool. Um, so we rolled up near these trees and there's a whole bunch of arrows coming through. Coming out of them, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to just hold my action and how far away are the trees from me? I'm in. I'm in the the cart, presumably. I mean, they're probably like 15 to 20 feet. Okay. Yeah, the the You presumably you guys were just following the tracks, and the tracks are just on the outskirts of the trees. Like, it's pretty clear, like, they just don't bring wagons through these trees. And they bring them sort of around them, and at some point, they ambush them more aggressively. Cool. Um, screaming, away from the trees. Uh, you and Bill are probably driving this, your wagon. Uh, which actually brings up a good point. I'm just going to say the um, Tippletoe, um, Carl, and Fred, was it? Um, Fred. Fred. Yeah, Fred. they move at the end of, they move on initiative zero. Cool. Um, I guess I'm going to hold my action. Um, but 
what I'm gonna do is I'll uh Aldrich blast the first hostile thing that I see pop out. Uh okay. Um so then are you telling your wolves to do something? Or these wolves to do something? Um take cover. Okay. Uh I wanna right, protect so them. They do that. Um they Yeah. So the wolves were probably like just tromping. They weren't probably in the cart. They were probably on either side of the cart. Um, so they just like stop and bunker down and put their paws over their heads because they well, don't know what that Can is. they go under the cart? They could. Yeah, but I didn't explicitly tell them that. Yes, and I rolled an intelligence check to see if they could extrapolate. And cool. they got a four. So right, that is why they are being be more, more explicit. <laughs> got it. Keep in mind, dire wolves have an intelligence of three to start with. So Hector is gonna zero. love them. He did like take them to dog school. Um, man, uh, if we have in between mission time, that's all that's gonna be happening. It's gonna be you know gerbil jerky treats and it's gonna be obedience school at the TBD. You know, out. sounds good. Uh, okay, so at this point, um, roll me a perception check, uh, Jagger. Nine. Uh, okay, cool. Um, a crossbow bolt bonks into the um, side of the caravan. Uh, Achilles Z. What are you doing? So um, I'm not sure. Are we in the same exact order that we were in before where I'm like in the back? Presumably. I mean, I, it's kind of up to you because I didn't ask ahead of time. So I'm just, unless you think there's a reason you would have meaningfully changed, um, you're in the same like basic order. Well, I got back into the wagon. Oh, uh, okay. No, hold on. Um, couple things that I just realized. One, Rich. Yeah. No, you, oh, you wouldn't be he driving was the wagon. Well, I was. It. Uh, why not? You were tied up until three seconds ago. Oh, so yeah. that was three seconds ago. There, were, there wasn't time between tr no, uh, no, it was, the no, charm wears really off and the arrows. Like, Got you it. You guys were having a very brief conversation with your realizations. And then it was that as a consequence of that out loud conversation, the people watching you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm like at the front of the wagon or whatever, where I was sitting tied up. Would you be? Well, I mean, you were tied up. Would you have been in the back up in with the, the other prisoner? Yeah. I mean, uh, let's, so, okay. So for that realization, let's say that, um, that you and I were switched. So you're in the wagon and I'm riding shotgun with, sure. Uh, and then Achilles -y is basically standing guard, even though he probably doesn't know what that means or why. Um, yeah, probably. Well, I, I just want to know visually, like, uh, uh, am I obvious to whoever's shooting at us at this moment? Or is it like I'm in cover? Or uh, I'm just trying to figure out, like, if, if we're in a wagon, are they able to see who they're shooting at, or is it so just the my two that are riding in the front? So my always, and you can correct me if I, I can't remember if we established this, but uh, I always assumed that your wagon was not a covered wagon. No, it so is not. Said it was it's, just, it's, it's a flatbed with you know, yeah. being drawn. So yeah. you are very much open. You can bunker down, potentially, but, like, yeah, they can see you. They can see all three of you, and they can see the two drivers of your wagon. Your wagon is terrible defense if you're going to stay in it. Yeah, it, it's oh, yeah. yeah. First chance we get, we should get some fucking covering on this, because I don't want to, like, get rained on when we're... That, that, that's shitty. I mean, it was just Fix supposed that. to get us to, to Codlin's Red. <laughs> it wasn't, like... We were not planning on this being, like, a tactical piece of equipment. Th this is all happening while we're being shot at. You guys are talking. Yeah. <laughs> no, that Ryan, was sort of out of character, <laughs> like trying to establish some things that admittedly had not been established, but were in my mind, and so I wanted to confirm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, th that's why I wanted to ask, because yeah. I had a plan, but I can't use that plan anymore. 
Yeah, no. Um, so, all of a sudden, I need to wing it here. And yeah, it's just... high enough off the ground that you could, like, jump out and hide by, put it between you and the trees for, like, half cover. But mm -hmm. you can't be in it and be completely hidden. Okay, is it still moving at this point in time? Who's, who's Presumably, this? yeah. Because um, the Tipple Toe and company have not gone. Yeah, you don't stop a wagon when you're under attack. You, if anything, you speed up, but you don't slow down. Panic. Sometimes you get down, and it just depends on what the horse does. I mean, I, I just want. But then I get up. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure because if I'm jumping out of a wagon and it's moving, then I'm not covered anymore. So I'm just trying to get the lay of everything. Yep, you are um, not covered now. Okay, so I would. I want to, I guess, hunker down and try to see if I can find where these arrows are coming from. Uh, okay, roll perception. I mean, you can obviously tell they're coming from the trees, but roll perception to be more specific than that. Yeah, uh, I don't want to just be blindly, like, throwing something. Uh, I rolled a 19. Um, you can tell that the... Um, so the arrows are coming from the tree line, or at least a little bit below. The crossbow bolt came from, um, at ground level. Um, but you cannot currently see anyone. Uh, but uh, I will say that you can, like, watch and wait for someone to poke their head out, um... Like, they're, they're hiding behind trees when they're not firing. Right. Uh, do I have a sense of how far away this is? No. Okay. I mean, well... Uh, yes. So, no. Um, I, I would say calculate, like, the perception check plus, like, an investigation check is probably a bit much in a single turn. Um... So, like, if you wanted to try to figure that out, the only way you'd be able to figure it out is to look at the angle of the arrows and sort of extrapolate from there, um, which combined with thoroughly searching the woods, uh, I mm. think it's a bit much. Um, no, yeah, that, that's reasonable. Uh, but okay. if you would like to, like, hold an action, you could use that perception check to um, fairly confidently spot when someone pokes their head out. Okay, I'd do that. Um, am I able to do a bonus action as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and use that bonus action to prepare magic stone so I sure. can check it. Okay. Uh, anything right. else? Or in holding Not any just for just like when one of them pokes their stupid head out? <laughs> yeah, and trying to get down for as much cover as I can, I guess. It's my movement. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Um, so are you staying in the wagon? Yes. Okay. Uh, I was trying to see if I could so I, get a I little cover. This, the wagon itself is virtually no cover if you're in it. You would need to get out and hide behind it with the wagon, like you, wagon, tree line. But if you're just in okay. the wagon, they basically so, put the killing. Piece. So it's literally flat with no sort of supplies yeah. or anything on it. Okay. I mean, there's a few wagon. supplies, but like your, your original fine. trip was not that far. It was meant okay. as more of a transportation device for four of you than it was like hauling goods. Um, so. Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, I, if. Ryan, if you're, you're in a pickup truck right now, and if you, if you lie down in the pickup truck, you're still fucking exposed. Yeah. Anyways, so regarding the movement, is it... Would that count as one movement then for me to, to jump out and be following along with the wagon? Or I'm just... I don't want to be jumping out and then having the wagon roll off and then me being like, oh, I'm not actually covered. I'm now just sitting here on the road. Um. So... Uh, that you and the wagon are moving independently of each other. The wagon is going to move at initiative zero, uh, 
I'm just I'm just gonna have the wagons move at initiative zero. Um, okay. So um, yeah, I feel like it's it's a bit wacky. <laughs> yeah, I would say if you wanted to jump out and keep pace with the the wagon, you could do that. I don't okay. think they're moving very fine. fast. Just if shit gets kicked into overdrive, like. No, yeah, it, totally reasonable. I, I just don't want it to turn into some stupid farce where it's like no. the wagon moves and I'm like, oh, I need to move and then I move and then it moves and then I'm like, no, oh, wait. That's you hook your grappling dick onto it and it'll carry yeah. you with it. No, I, it, I, it, I think it's not a grappling. <laughs> that's the only reason. It's not hooked. Because it's wildly impractical. Like, it doesn't make sense to me to, to do that. So, yeah, you can okay. keep up. As long as it doesn't. Okay, fair. Um, uh, go faster. I would say it's probably moving. I don't know what's the speed. Fifteen, twenty feet. Like okay, a, that's a round right now. But if yeah, it's lower than that's a like a normal movement. pace. That's not the yeah. we need to speed up pace. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah. It's up to you on how you want to rule it. Um, so I would just jump out and try to keep the wagon between me and it, okay. while okay. keeping an eye out. And uh, Moto would jump out with me and just okay. keep pace with me. Okay. Um, okay, and that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, Bob. So I think I'm driving then. It's my process of elimination. Uh, you can decide which of you is driving and which of you is shotgun, but you and Don are both in the front of the wagon. Cool. We're so, there, there, I like. I don't like. No, like Don would not have a whole lot of. I don't know, um, land vehicle proficiency or like, you know, influence or, you know, wisdom regarding this specifically. Sure. So I'm driving. Um, he's, so, only, yeah. he's only up front because Jider is not in there. Yeah. So I'm in front and I'm driving. So, uh, I take a quick check to see what the hell, um, uh, Costco is doing. Who's Costco? Uh, the lady who's Do, do you mean the Tiffle Toe Club? Yes, that one. <laughs> uh, she is not doing really anything yet. She acts at the end of the round. Um, she mm. certainly seems spooked. Um, like, can I, can I, like, get an... I, I'm just trying to get an idea of if she's going to go, like, whoa, and stop, or if she's going to, like, you know, try to mush forward faster. Roll insight. Uh, that's a four. You're about 30% sure that she's driving. <laughs> cool. Um, which great. Is, Carl. is awkward because she's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and just to be clear, like, if, if we, like, move faster uh, on this path, can we move away from the tree line a good bit if we, like, pick up speed? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, so then... I will say it is going to be more difficult to do. Like, there is a reasonably, or a, a slightly well-worn, like, tread path that you guys are, are kind of following um, at this point. Like, it, it, it wasn't from the, the road, but once you guys started to arc, like, they stopped being as hidden. Um, and going off in a random direction overland will be a little bit tougher, but you could do it. Cool. So I'm going to try to... Uh... I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna yell out like, like, like again, like yeah, like uh, tipple toe, move away from the trees, and I'm gonna uh, uh, like whip the horses or whatever the thing is you do to take it to move a little bit faster, trying to go down that path, so that we can okay. um, get away from the arrows. And then I'm also going to, as a bonus action, cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. All right. Uh. Cool, 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 cool. So you, um, I'm going to say you started about 15, just we're going to use easy numbers here. You started at about 15 feet from the tree line. Um, whipping your cart, uh, you guys are about 30 feet, just because of the rotation. Um, but otherwise, I think it probably goes about 30 feet around. Easy math. Um, and you... Um, so two archers 
pop their heads out of the tree. Um, Achilles, E, um, you spot one. Do I see either of them? Nope, because you're working on a perception of six or whatever really terrible role it was. Uh, how far away are uh, we? Well, right. that was for the veteran. Go ahead and roll perception again. I applied that to the veteran. I won't apply that to, to both. Yeah, that's a two. Yeah, so no, you don't. <laughs> um, their two arrows go just lopsided as shit. Uh, Orion. How they, far away are they? Uh, 45 feet. 30 feet, sorry. They're 30 feet? Okay, I'm going to throw my javelin at them. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 11. Actually, no, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. I am going to say they're 45 feet, because I'm going to say they're a little bit of the ways into the, the tree line. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Um, well, then I would have thrown my magic stone. Yeah, that that's fine. You can use the same roll if you want. Yeah, then it would be 10 to hit. Uh, that misses. Cool. So, I need to continue to use my movement in order to stay with pace with the wagon. Yes. Although it's worth pointing out that um, as the cart turns, um, there's no like you're with the cart turning. It is now moving perfectly away from the forest line, and thus you no longer have cover by virtue of their. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. That's um, you're without, like, welcome. Literally running <laughs> with the horses. So you you run to keep up, um, but you're no one. You don't have cover anymore. Cat, what are you doing? Okay. Are you doing? Well, if if that was the case, I would have actually ran towards the enemy. Okay. Oh. So okay. You run into the forest. Yeah. Okay. Leroy Jenkins over here. All right, so um, you run into the forest. So, um, I would have ran up 30 feet, and um, Moto runs with me that 30 feet and is beside me in the forest, like okay. whatever it is, 15 feet away from him. Actually, Moto runs just in front of me. Okay. Because Moto has 40 feet of the movement, so. Okay. Fast little guy. Sounds big good. Guy. Um, oh my god, cat. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. I'm so, the bag away from me. There's plastic on the table and you're yeah, asking what she's just doing? Batting at it like a turd. Yeah, they love um, plastic. Um, uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh Dawn. Lay down. Lay down, Don. There you go. Don. Yeah, well, we'll... <laughs> um, okay, so, um, so Bob got us turned off path. Uh, uh -huh. What, um, uh, I guess my concern is, what are the other two wagons doing? Have they... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, good point. They're doing the same thing. Thank okay, God. Veering away from, from the woods. They had two of you yelling to do that, and also that's where the shots are coming from. So. Okay, so I'm going to look... Oh, uh, you know what? No, 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 no. He's rolling because they're idiots. Tip yeah, Tipple Toes <laughs> Wagon does. The middle wagon keeps going straight. God fucking damn it. I love how I can basically wagon. read Brian's mind when he starts rolling. <laughs> Which one is the wagon? Is Are, are they both Conestoga wagons? Full of goods? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to... So, Tibbleton's wagon veered off. We veered off. Um, idiot wagon didn't... Yeah, Fred or Carl or whichever asshole driving this wagon. Oh. So, um, I need to get them away because otherwise they're going to get sacked. And yeah. So, I'm going to vault off of our wagon and try and clear the distance to them and board from the 
away from the shotgun shot. Okay. Um, if that's a movement, if that's a, a yeah, dash, it's, it's and a probably bonus a bonus dash. action dash, and sure. Okay, cool. Uh, you uh, said the word vault. Does that involve an acrobatics? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, jump off with that and land I'm on just... feet. Like, I, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever for style, but if it's going to be a mechanics thing. Or whatever, <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe. It's like 10 feet off the, or 5 feet off the ground. Like, you do it. Do a backflip <laughs> forward. No. Do a flip! <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want the backflip. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so I'll, I'll jump off of our whack, you know, I'll kind of like, you know, clap uh, Bob on the back, and it's like, dumbass over here, jump off, <laughs> clear the distance to the other wagon, board, and like, turn to the fucking right, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, he will, but he won't go for a while. Jider! Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, actually, that's, that's the point. Uh, I guess. I guess it, it is kind of a, a sticky situation, you know, we're in, you know, being attacked. So I guess I'm not, tr- I, I wouldn't trust him. I would grab the reins and try and pull it to the right and actually up- make that effect. Roll like, a strength oh, check. Oh, God. Ooh, a strength check. That's not it. I'm not, I'm not great at that. Because unfortunately for you, he's the half work. That's a knock. <laughs> uh, he isn't having any of that shit. Oh, my reins. Still, still, still uh, accompanying my dialogue of turn, you idiot. I'm going to. You don't have to use names. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes you do. No. And he starts crying. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> you made him cry with name calling. Way to go. Uh, do you do anything else after that? Wait, I thought... I thought half works were thick skinned. <laughs> do you do anything? Else? Um, no, I just want, I, I'm just going to just try again. Sure. Yes. John, or Jider. Sorry. Yeah. You up. So I don't see any, um, I don't see anything. I'm in, like, the back part of the wagon. Which is now turning away from the trees. Right? Yeah. And the dire wolves are hunkered down. Just like staying still while the wagons yeah, continue to just, move. They're, they're just like on the ground in the middle of a field with their paws over their Uh Okay, so I am going to... Um, I'm going to jump out of the wagon. Okay. Try and do a flip. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to roll acrobatics? Uh, yeah. Okay. Roll acrobatics. Roll the 15. You floop. All right. I'm going to say, get him! In wolfish. Okay. Um, they both get up and run into the woods. Um, and the good news for you is you hear very loud owls because they can smell. Actually, you don't. <laughs> oh shit! You don't. They both miss. No. Oh. oh wait, second one gets pack tactics. Nah, second one hits. Pack tactics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. And that's my turn. Okay. They do whatever um, they do. So you hear a very loud war horn coming out of the forest. Uh-oh. Have mistakes been made? <laughs> uh, a yelping sound. <gasps> no! No, my poor boys. They didn't get names yet. I mean, you did send them in in the like direct combat with absolutely zero backup. I mean, they are dire wolves. They're and there's two of them. They are their own backup. I mean, plus they're not us. 
Just don't be surprised at the yipping in my plan. I can be sad about it, though. Where are they in relation to uh, me? Probably nearby you, to be honest. You can probably see them. So you're seeing... Yeah, they uh, they just went over to a tree that's like 10 feet away from you and snuck around behind it and started down stomping something. Okay. Um, as they're doing it, like you can see that there, there's a guy uh, wearing splint mail behind one of the trees, one mm. of the other trees, and he was hiding, and he was he was holding a heavy crossbow, but you watched him drop it and pull out a long sword and a short sword um, and just start um, going to town on these... Uh, uh, these wolves. Okay. Um. My poor boys. Um, and, uh, one of the wolves does not look great. Oh, no. Uh, Achilles E, it is now your turn. This is about 15 feet away from you. Okay, so uh, how far away are the dire wolves? They're right next to this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they both okay, ran up to him and were stomping on him. Okay, so then I use a bonus action to tell my skill defender, which is Moto, to attack the ones that the dire wolves are fighting. So your skill defender and is not next to them. I know. He's so, five feet in front of me. Right. Which means he can't attack because he's not within range. He it, he acts after me. So are you, are you saying that he can't? That's the, so the problem with the Steel Defender, and I have this same problem when I play it, is there's an order of operations problem where you the action that you're using your bonus action to get him to attack um, triggers immediately, which means he needs to be within five feet of the thing that he's attacking but he goes after you with movement. So you can never move him to something and then have it attack on the same turn. It always has to be move him to something, and then next round you can use your bonus action to attack with him. That seems dumb. Yeah, that It sounds... is a little obnoxious, yes. I, okay. I, I was under the impression he would just follow me, but okay, that's fine. No, so the, the, the problem is that, like... You can direct his movement, but he still fundamentally moves after your turn is done. So that's, okay, that's I, I, the dilemma. I get it. His move yeah. and his action are one and the same, is what you're saying. No. no. His action you happens when... Turn, yeah. You can use your bonus action to make him attack. But that attack has a set range of five feet, I think. So the problem is that he can only move on his turn which is immediately after yours is complete. So you can never have him move up to something and then attack it on the same round because you would have had to have had him attack in your turn before he has his turn in order to move. Okay, yeah. so you're saying that his attack counts within my bonus action portion of my round? That's literally and what it his, is, is. And then his move... Oh, okay. I thought it was... Uh, I read no, it he, as he, uh, he, my bonus action was a command that he would execute on his turn. So... Yeah, no, he's a, he's a fixed mind. turn. But that fine. is never how I have read it. If you find... That's like, fine. Did, no, no. I, I want to say this. Um, if you go off and you find documentation that uh, suggests otherwise, please let me know because it's one of my major gripes with when I play my Battlesmith. So if I am okay. wrong in my interpretation, I very much want to know. Okay, so the paragraph is in well, combat. I'm saying later. The Steel I'm Defender not shares that. your initiative yeah, count. Orion, oh, I don't want to have that conversation now. Okay, I'm that's totally later, fine. If that turns out to not be true, let me so, know. So I guess my question is, do I have to use a bonus action to tell him to go somewhere? No, he just goes he after just... you and you direct where he goes. Oh, okay, that's totally fine then. Um, okay, then I'm going to run up next to the dire wolves. Okay. So I'm uh, right next to them and sure. between them and the guy, or next to them with the guy, okay. and I'll just use my javelin on him. Okay. 
Ooh, we in attached mode? I suppose so. That's a 25 to hit. Um, that actually misses. Awkward. No, that hits. 25 <laughs> misses? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell like, me I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I disengage Welcome to away. the jungle! It's the fun <laughs> of games! Yeah, he rebalanced the encounters a little aggressively. <laughs> a little well, too I aggressively. Well, I had to balance the around these fucking dire wolves. <laughs> no, no, no. It hits. I'm kidding. Okay, so nine points. Basically, it's a rat, and that's it. But that's what a five wouldn't hit. Uh, yeah. How much damage? Uh, uh, nine piercing. Cool. Stabby, stabby. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else? Uh, no, just that Moto runs up next to me. Okay, cool. Uh, Bob. Uh, yeah. So, how far away are we from the tree line now? Um. Uh, 30 feet. Uh, how do I keep this thing moving in the direction that I want to move and yet still be at all relevant in combat? Uh, uh, sorry, what was that? Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to continue to get everyone else out of dodge while not while hopefully getting out of this cart at some point in the reasonably near future so I can do things that are useful. Um who's still in the cart with me? Is there anybody? Uh, uh the unconscious um bandit. Gerald. Gerald. Yeah. Uh, and... And Jider, right? Oh, that's it. Jider, yeah. No, I flipped right. out. He flipped out. Oh, right. he flipped yeah. out. That's right. It's yeah. literally just the unconscious bandit. Yeah, don't don't leave him with a wagon. Well, he's, well, he's tied up. I mean, no, we have to. Like, yeah, um, so I mean, he's Jider. He's also tied up, and hopefully less confident than Jider. <laughs> um, I think we can bet that. We'll bet on that. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm going to move the cart another, like, I'm going to let the cart continue to go, oh. like, in the same, what? Yeah, I think there's a lot of hope there. But, Sorry, I was reading um, the thing you sent, Bill, and Orion is right. Yeah. Um, so, that's good news for you. Credit, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that so, um, uh, going to, essentially, like, uh, I'll, I'll yell out to, to Costco to, uh, you know, you know, you know, keep going, uh, but I'm pulling the cart to a stop. Who is Costco? Um, um <laughs> the lady whose name I can never remember. Tippletoe. Tippletoe. A fan. He's like, <laughs> he's gonna, like, write her name down somewhere, Tippletoe. Um, I, I yell the tipple toe to keep going. Um, well, I pulled my cart to a stop, uh, okay. and then I'm gonna hop out and run towards the the wood line. Just leaving the unconscious bandit. Yeah, he's probably fine. Okay. I mean, he's tied up, so he can't really go anywhere. He's still with an eyesight. Arms and legs. Yeah, and his arms and legs are bound. He's not okay, going cool. anywhere. Um, cool. Uh, Orion, roll me an attack for uh, Moto. Uh, cool. I am super. Good to know. Um, okay, so this is where I just use the uh, force and power grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, it didn't go through for some reason. 24 to hit. That hits. Three. Wow. The minimum damage. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Um, it's like, and. Uh, so at this point. Um, two dudes pop out of the trees, and they both fire at, I mean, at this point, they're looking at two wolves, one, yeah, they're going to both go after the, uh, bloody wolf. No! No! Um, one, what are the dire wolves? Yeah, one hit, one miss. Ooh. Oh, tits. Uh, okay. We're gonna say that was the first one. 
Um, looking real bad. But they shoot multiple times. Oh, donk. Uh, well, you watch as one of the dire wolves goes down. No! He was my favorite. Um, <laughs> fucking hand. Hey, Keaton. Hey. Um, <laughs> she flooped onto her back. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, so that's their turn, and then the the um, two carts, uh, the middle cart veers to the left, and the other cart continues driving for 30 feet. So the Tipple Toes cart is now um, 60 feet away from the tree line, and the middle cart is now um, 30 feet away, both of which are heading off that direction. I mean, you're gone. You're in the middle car. Jider, you're just standing there awkwardly. Uh, no, I'm striking an awesome pose because I landed my flip. Cool. Don, you're up. Awkwardly. Um, is it Carl or Fred that's driving this wagon? Uh, it is Fred. Fred. All right. Fred, I'm sorry about the harsh language earlier. Uh, it was just the heat of the moment. But I need you to keep driving this wagon away from the woods until you're safe because we need to make sure that Lady Tippletoe makes it safely to her next point. Now, in the meantime, I got to go because my friends are being fucking idiots and I got to save their lives. All right, I'll so. save my mom. Don't worry. Mm. Cool. Mom? <laughs> okay. Um, more yeah, yeah, wait, wait, no, you were boyfriend before. That's, uh, whoa, that's, I, I don't have time to... to Boyfriends, to brothers, brother. And he, like, jumps off while figuring this out. <laughs> He's like, wait a second. <laughs> um, and then... Shit. Why did everybody get off the wagon? We have a good thing going. Um... So we'll use a full action to, or standard action, to dash into the woods. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, hearing, you know, wolf yelps and everything mm -hmm. else, we'll be going in that direction, okay. but it'll be get into the tree line and then try and try and basically flank from behind. I think yeah. I'm probably too far away to get there on this turn, but that's the... Um, you're you're only like thirty feet away, so I, I think you can get there, or forty. If you, I, I'm. I mean, because I can away. dash in and then I can move again with my with cunning action, but then I don't have an attack or anything. So I, I guess it's and okay. So yeah, I'm gonna say be, that with a cunning action dash, you could get in there. Okay, but I don't want to engage right now. And then, okay. Yeah, I don't want to because last That's time fine. I got stabbed by some pretty incompetent people, but it was still a lot of damage. I want to position myself to be able to attack him from behind. Okay. You want to position yourself to uh, do it from behind. Got it. I don't know where it went. You get me. You get me, Brian. Uh, okay. Um, the guy who's next. Uh, no. You know what? Actually, I take that back. That, that, that's a rash action, and I haven't been acting, acting like this. I want to dash into the tree line, and then I want to try – I want to look around for – our for our enemy or opponent like i want to like make a real scan a thoughtful look roll perception and... one of them is obvious right like you can obviously see the guy tussling with two dogs a uh, log one one uh, dog man. right it's, uh, <laughs> it's only one dog now <laughs> that's true it's one dog there is a dead dog a dog and a log and, uh, and that's a dead dog, dog. Uh, modified 20. Okay. Yeah, you. Is it a dead you... dog or a dog in death saving throws? Nope, it's a dead dog. Damn it. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I think I think the DM's pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure the DM wants me to have as few direwolves as possible. I mean, <laughs> that it's I have, more I that can... NPCs do not yeah. do death saving throws. So like, I was never gonna give the dog saving throws and circumstances allowed them to get shot and stabbed a bunch of times. <laughs> uh, were all both right. dogs injured or just one? No. All of the attacks were against the same dog. That's okay. Yeah. They, they're beefy boys, but um, between the stabbing and the pew-pewing, uh, yeah. 
Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, you you spot from this vantage point, you can see where the other two. There are scouts. There are there are guys um, that are actually up on like branches, hiding. Okay. Um. Now it is Jagger. Yeah. So I can see the one that's tussling with my remaining dog from here. Now that no, he's not from the field. out. Okay. So I'm going to move up until I can see him. Uh, you would have to go into the woods in order to be able to see him. Sure. Like he's hustling with shit, but he's still there's a giant tree that he was against that he was firing from behind. Okay. He moved out so, from behind it while dealing with all. Okay, that. so I saw where my dogs went. So presumably I could go in. So that I'm not. You can see where that is. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. See him. So I will just angle myself so I can, whether it means going into the woods or not, so I can blast them without, um, being in melee range of them or whatever. Uh, yeah, you would need to go. You would probably need to, um, like dash to get into the woods to do that. I thought I was. Didn't I jump out of the cart immediately? Like so, I'm only. 20 feet away from the woods? Yeah, he jumped off the cart when the cart was uh, less was 30 feet or less away from the trees. Okay, whatever. So, sure. uh, I'll use my standard movement until I can see the one that just presumably killed my dog. Okay. And then I'm sure. and then I'm going to blast him. Okay. So anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh love, love beam away. No. I rolled a 1. I mean, it's a five, uh, so but... you fire your love beam, and to your dismay, uh, the love beam actually uh, pokes one of them in the butt. Um, but just lovingly. Cool. Um, <laughs> I'll let your imaginations decide. Cool. Um, and then, uh, is so, any, is anyone injured? Uh, cool, cool, cool. Anything or, else? Was anyone injured? It was just the dog that's now dead, right? Yeah, it was just a super dead dog. <laughs> I have so, like, I have the easiest healing ever, and I didn't get a chance. Yeah. That sucks. Okay, yeah, we're good. They, That's uh, my turn. blasted that pupper. Um, so it's the pupper's turn, and he's going to attack, and good news for him. He's he gets, attack, check this. because of Moto. Oh, that's a D12. Fun fact, he misses on the D12. Um, so he hits, uh, and so he, um, um, Ooh, I don't want to use that one. That would be bad. Uh, cool, 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 cool. This guy is not looking great. Uh, but then it's his turn, and he proceeds to stab at the dog. No, where'd I go? Uh, several. Holy shit! But he misses all of them. Uh, Achilles, E, you're up. Okay, so currently there's how many um, attacking this dog? You have the one there's in the There's just one now. on the ground. Okay, um, then, then I'll just go ahead. There's two that are up in the trees that are sort of now angled such that, like, they have half cover from you guys. Because you're down on the okay, ground. Okay, then, uh, then I'll attack the one that I attacked previously okay. and also tell Moto to chomp. Sure. So... We'll do the javelin. Uh, nine. Uh, nine misses. Yeah. And then, uh, and then uh, Moto goes, and what's Moto's? Sorry, they have this <coughs> kind of set up weird here. I know. Thirteen. And misses. Yeah. Uh, Bob, you're up. Cool. So I ran like 30 feet last time from where I stopped the car. I presume I can get into melee distance by running another 30 feet this turn. I'm gonna say no. So yes and no. Yes, you can get up there. No, there's a lot of things around this guy whose back is against the tree. Um, wolf. Like he has a dire wolf, which is is that even medium? Um a log and Achilles -y, and that's basically uh ah, ah fuck it. Yeah you can get over there. Why not? You guys can go into the forest and gang bang. And I also have reach with my glaive. Oh well I can yeah. like 
yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna that. go up and I'm going to stabinate with my glaive. That is extraordinarily rude. You're being a rude boy. And I got a oh, natural twenty large. again. So the dire wolf is like ten foot by ten foot. Like I mean, they're, they're large creatures. Yeah. Okay. But You're still I... good. I'm just commenting that yeah. so you understand how big this fucking thing is. <laughs> cool. I got an at twenty. Uh, so that's gonna be. Stop cheating. Uh, two of these. That's uh, twelve damage. Damn, son. Anything else? Uh, I believe that is it. Okay, so arrows come flying down from the sky, and I'm going to. Two of them go at you, Bill. Sure. And two of them go at the pupper. Doing what two doing Stop attacking now. the pupper. Um, so does a 16 hit? No, it does not. So the two against you miss, and the two against the pupper, god damn, also miss. Yes! So two and a three. <laughs> Uh, Puffer's two, still a in three, it. A four, a four, and a five are the wow. five attacks against this thing. Uh, and that's the end of their turn, and the wagons keep going, and Don, you're up. Um, all right, so you said that, that I was able to spot, from my vantage point, a couple of scouts up on branch of the tree. Yeah. Um, I would like to, I mean, I'm a sky pirate, so I'm used to working on, on uncertain platforms. <laughs> But I would like to climb one of the the nearest tree with that has an assailant in it and engage him on the bridge. Sure. Uh, I don't know. Acrobatic or er, athletics. I prefer the first one, but I'll take it. <coughs> Modified 16. Yeah. All right. Cool. You're up. Um, and it's just going to be a lunge with the rapier. All right. Roll attack. No. That's nope. what he said. No! <laughs> uh, the attack's going to be a 15. Uh, that hits. Uh, give me sneak attack? No. There's nothing around here. Uh, 11. I mean, to be fair, he probably wasn't expecting to be attacked up in the tree. I mean, that doesn't mean he gets advantage. I know, I'm just... Um, all right. Cool. Anything else? Is he still alive? Yeah. He doesn't look um, great, but he's still alive. Alright, so so uh and maybe this is a mechanic thing that we should that we should test. Um basically if I'm going into combat, I'm dual I'm dual wielding a rapier and then my modify my boarding axe would be a hand axe. Okay. Uh, so if I would if you know unless there was a reason not to, I would have had the hand axe in my offer. And I'm gonna follow up with that. And that'll be a 19 to hit. That hits. Four, five. Four, five? Five damage. Uh, falls out of the tree. Dead as a dead guy. Not that guy. Anything else? Nope. Um, yeah. Uh, bonus action if I can tree hop towards the other one. Uh, no, you used all of your movement to get up here. But I'm good. Uh, Jider. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we got one guy still fighting the wolf. That looks bad. There's one guy that looks real bad fighting the wolf, uh, Moto, Achilles, -y, and, uh, Bob. Okay. And Don is up in the trees having just murder stabbed one of the two guys up there. Okay. I feel good about that. Uh, from my new vantage point, can I see the other guy in the tree? Uh, roll perception. Uh, I'm gonna guess the... Ooh, it's actually a 16. Yeah, you can. Cool. You I'm a... Half cover, but you can. Uh, half cover does what to... It adds two to his AC. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do... And he's within, what, like 30 yeah. feet or something? Sweet. Uh, so I'll... 
I'm going to sacred flame the uh, one up in the tree because they sacred don't get flame. Yeah, it's a cantrip. They don't get advantage for cover, um, but it's a dex 12 saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Which I'm using because they don't get advantage from cover. <laughs> Is that one of the ones you took with the pack to the top? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's one of them in my list. Dex, right? Yep. Dex 12. Okay. Um, and then as a bonus action, uh, no one is hurt, right? No. <laughs> There's just, the well, just a dead so thing, and then everything else missed. Yeah, basically. Okay. They rolled really fucking well in the first round and murdered the <laughs> shit out of your dog, and then everything's been... Boring. Cool. So, uh... Everything according to plan. <laughs> that ends my turn. All right, cool. Uh, the other dire wolf goes. Pack tactics. Pack tactics. Uh, Thirteen. That's like my favorite thing. Uh, hits. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Well, I'm only rolling well for this goddamn fucking dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> just killed one of them. Yeah, that dog is upset. Rips out his goddamn throat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that's his turn, and then it's... Oh, yeah, and it was probably should have been prone the whole time, but I'm good with that. Achilles E, you're up. So there's only one person left, and that's in the tree? Yep. All right. Um, top pick. Go, go, gadget. How far away yes. is it? <laughs> Exacto. Uh, some number of feet less than 30. Okay. Um in would fact, I be able to climb? 30 feet, you could get a round to a vantage point where he doesn't even have half cover. Yeah. Okay, then I would do that. I would maneuver out and uh, toss my javelin at him. All right. Roll attack. Uh, crit. 12. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Critical hit. Oh, I hit. rolled a 20. So okay. 26 total. Sure, and then points. you said 12, Damage. and that was what confused me. 12 points damage. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, all right. Cool. I'm assuming a 26 hits. <laughs> well, a crit hits. Um, yeah. There is no 26 mm -hmm. in that case. But yes, I just was confused about the second number. Um, all right. He's not looking great. Got a javelin in his sphincter. I make it come back. Oh, God. There's not <laughs> supposed to be a hole there. Um, did you do anything well, else? Well, sphincter. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's not supposed there to be two holes there. <laughs> that hole is bigger than it's supposed to be. Um, no, I think I'll just stay put where I'm at. Uh, cool. Bob. Cool. Uh, I presume I figured out where the guy is because everyone's throwing things at him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so He's also literally on fire. I'm going to... He's not really uh, hidden from this vantage point very well when he's leaking fecal matter so i'm gonna drop my glaive uh and then pull out a javelin and throw it at him sure roll attack uh i got an 18 don't fuck this up 18 to hit no, no 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 it hit but don't fuck up the next part cool i got seven damage yeah he does <laughs> and then i go over to retrieve my javelin uh everybody roll perception this is where we're going to end the session, um, just because it's, it's time. Woo! But I want everyone to roll perception first. 19. 16. 5. 16. I'm really bad at perceiving. Everyone except Jider hears the horses. Uh, not the uh, caravan horses. They're coming from a different direction. Uh, in particular, they're coming from the direction you were just heading. It's too bad that I didn't hear them. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you just be worried, that's all. Uh, as you guys go to the edge of the forest and look out, uh, you see in the distance a, a small cloud of dust. Um, and in that dust, you can make out several riders heading straight for your wagons. Yeah. No. Yes. And that's where we're going to end the session. <laughs>
Triangle of the wagons. What are you What are you laughing about? No, that, that that's our charge. We've got we got to save that and kill these fuckers. Uh, actually, that brings us the second point. We should probably make sure that one of the people we killed is not one of the people we're supposed to capture. I, I mean, assume that Brian would have mentioned that good DM that he uh, is. If any of them had been, they were not. I, I mean, it is not in the mess. I would have forgot. But in forgetting, then it would get retconned into it not being because I'm not going to surprise you with that. So it's yeah, I mean, honestly, like in, in the of, <laughs> no, neither uh, none of the people you just fought were the people you're looking for. I mean, like I don't think that we were that in this specific combat, for example, I don't think we were ever at a point where we would have stopped doing what we were doing. Not really, after somebody because it, there was there was a, a real threat. At I think stage. the only person that I could reasonably buy um, you would have done something differently with is the guy that was on the ground where you had several rounds of being face-to-face -face with him. The two yeah. scouts. Um, other, well, I guess it's possible the one that you fought directly, maybe. The other one that got Javelin to death, I don't... I would not buy that, that one. Would, that one was so fast. He, he was made a connection. But good news and, and for same you. with me coming up from behind. Like I would have climbed the tree and I was eliminating that threat. I don't know that I would have. Either thought, way, I don't think I would have stopped. Yeah. The good news is this is not me like retconning anything. Legitimately, none of the three were the people you're looking for. <laughs> oh, cool. These are not the corpses we're looking for. That exactly. that seems like exactly what you would say if you had already retconned it. Uh, no, I've always, no. I think I've always kidding. been fairly open and upfront about my <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kidding. Reconning stuff like that, at least in so far as it is relevant to your. All right. Lives. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Um, I think it's going to get we're harder. Back? We're, back in, we're back in two weeks, right? Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like uh, you've gone two class. entire encounters without taking basically any damage. Excuse you? Gee, I wonder how I'll rectify this problem. Uh, well, the, I got I got half dead. Thank you very much. The well, one of the wolves got all dead. Removing the seventh to the fourteenth, or was it? Well, yeah. We're, so, so the sessions will be the fourteenth, and then there will be one and one exactly one week later on the twenty. Yeah. Okay. And we're. And I don't want to wreck the cadence. Day. I just would rather not have another. We don't yep. play for a month. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so are we no, doing I, three I, weeks yeah. then, and then yes. one week? Exactly. Yep. Yeah, so we're back on the 14th, and then we'll be back on the 21st, which gets on normal schedule. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, and Again, we'll sorry about sorry about two weeks ago, but yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, so we're, sorry, we're, I got my face story. bit off by a stray dog. What? <laughs> a dire wolf. Oh, yeah, everyone, 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 the, the story. It, it's pretty anticlimactic, but um. I was I was I was working and my wife went down the street to our local taqueria to buy burritos and she called me when she was on her way back. She's like, "Hey, um, there, there's a stray dog. You want you want to help me? You know, wrangle this dog?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So I, I went out and sure enough, there was this, it was this beautiful white lab, um, probably probably 110 pounds of long haired Labrador, beautiful white coat, but scared and in the street. And so we kind of, you know, we ran around, corralled him, got him off the street, away from the cars, because we live on a, on a fairly busy street. Um, and we got him into, a, into our neighborhood, and it was like, all right, well, we've come this far, like, we need to try and help this dog. And so we were trying to get him a, get him further away from the street, and we got him into, into somebody's front yard. And my wife's on one end, uh, you know, one entrance, and I'm on the other. And I've got I've got a rope with me, and we're just like, all right, we just need to get this guy on a leash, and then we can get him in a car to a vet and see if he's microchipped. Get him, he, you know, he's he's in great health, very good size, very healthy looking. He's he's not barking, he's not growling, he's just scared, like no threat. And uh, so we we get him into you know into a, a tighter and tighter and tighter corral, and I'm trying to get a hold of him. And he makes a break for it. Um, my wife's blocking him off from the other entrance of his yard. And I try to get a rope on him and grab him. And he was not about that life. He was scared. And so he basically turns around and just, he doesn't, he doesn't bite me, but he kind of punches me in the face with his open mouth. And he hits me once, twice. And I come away because I can feel that I'm bleeding and I got punched by a, by a strong animal. And uh, so he's, he's still out in the neighborhood. And, and so we kind of back off a little bit. 
and uh, I was wearing, I was wearing, I was outside, so I was wearing a mask and I had sunglasses on. And the sunglasses had gotten thrown off my face. I was bleeding from right here in between my eyes. That was that was trickling down my face. And it's like, hey, this is a dog bite. I don't I don't know it's real bad, but I gotta go. No, I'm I'm 200 yards from that. I gotta go home and I gotta check this out. And I was like, all right, well I'm gonna stay here and keep the dog out of the street, and make sure he's fine. Um, and so I I walk home, I go into a bathroom, and I take my mask off, and blood pours out of the mask. Oof. I said, all right, well, this, this is this is a problem. And so I grab my clippers and I shear my beard off real fast. And then sure enough, like I've got this massive gaping wound. It's like it's puffing out from below my jaw. And it's like, all right, well, I still don't know if this is just swelling, if this is just fear that I didn't clip. Uh, but whatever it is, I need to I need to clean it. So I jump into the shower and you know rinse it out pretty aggressively with soap and hot water. And I came out and I looked in the mirror. And yeah, sure enough, like it, this thing is like growing out of my face. It looks like I, it looks like I have a tumor on the outside of my body. You know, my ch- my chin is trying to come out of my head. Um, and then I had two big lacerations from right here down to the side of my mouth. And then I had this this cut in the middle of my head. And so it's like, hey, I called my wife. I'm like, hey, we you need to come home. You need to drive me to urgent care because I definitely need stitches. And this is a bite, so I probably need antibiotics or something. And uh, I get dressed, I get dried off, I get dressed. She, she kind of leaves this dog in a park nearby um, and takes me up and we go to urgent care. And I get, uh, I, I get the, the word that you never want to hear a doctor tell you, which is you have a gaping face wound. <laughs> um, and then I get a whole lot of iodine and other stuff in my face when I get it cleaned up. Yep. And they put, I only got, I got four stitches and I was told that if this wasn't a dog bite, it should have been 13. But because the bacteria risk, they need to, they stitch it super loosely. So I got three stitches in my jaw. And I got one over here just to kind of keep it close enough to, to heal. Right. Um, but for the next week, it was just, I had open face wounds. Um, and lots of antibiotics, lots of, lots of bacitracin. And yeah, and uh, here I am. A couple weeks later. And we don't know what happened to the dog, presumably. We don't know what happened to the dog. And that's, that's the rough thing. But case. the nice yeah, thing yeah, is, the dog was probably cared for, so the chance that it had like rabies or something was pretty no, low. There, there was never, like, he was never acting weird. Yeah. Like, he, there, he was, there was a little bit of foam in his mouth. But he was clearly dehydrated. He was licking grass, you know, damp grass. He was he was scared. He was in a d- uncomfortable situation. He was nervous, and he reacted because he was scared. Yeah. He, there was never a point where like, hey, this is a this is an unusual condition. This is not <laughs> normal. Uh, so there was never that risk. It was just like, hey, you got bit by something, and thing and mammals carry shitloads of awful bacteria in the mouth. Like if yep. Ryan bit me, I'm definitely going to the hospital. Yeah, like you'd yeah. make it. <laughs> we should have got him off the street, got him, you know, into a residential neighborhood, and then called animal control, stayed with the dog until animal control got there, and let it go. Right. Yeah, but I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, and you're trying to help a dog, so. Right, and, and like I said, like it was, it was. This was not a stray dog. This was not a street dog. This was. Something, there was a creature that was, maybe didn't have the best home life because of how it was acting around people, but was not uncared for. I would have, I would have, in retrospect, I would have called animal control, but in that same situation, I would have gone for, try to get a leash on it and same thing that. So what does this dog look like again? Because I'm worried it's going to attack me next. That seems like <laughs> a big. Well, he has the taste for human flesh now. Yeah. <laughs> Specific- I mean, Ryan, you're also like 30 miles west than me. So. I, I know, but it, it could eventually. I mean, you're talking about a couple weeks have gone by now. This is like the worst <laughs> B level horror movie pitch ever. 
some suburban white guy tries to get a dog and it punches him with its mouth. And now it's got the well, uh, human flesh attacking I other mean, random ha- suburban white Has guys. there been a full moon since you got bit? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, we know you're not Wait, some sort of elaborate... Where a lab of wolf. Uh, no <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, wait a sec, there's a follow-up question there. <laughs> All right. A where Labrador? <laughs> I think I'd be comfortable being a I am a where okay. Labradoodle. <laughs> I got no problem there. there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Related note. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Nothing. Our oh, di- now we have ideas. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I'm going to drop the call and put my stream on. Be right back because I am going to.